because whether it was my first tournament, whether it was my last tournament, whether the round meant nothing or the round meant everything, yes, there were butterflies. It was just on, you know, to what extent. And um, so, yeah, you face that every single time. And, and now I haven't been playing competitive out there, running around a couple little mini tour here, uh, events here and there. But uh, I like to play for some money and I like to play for enough money to give me those feelings, you know, and because that's why you do it, man. I mean, there's not really any fun or excitement standing over a three footer and it doesn't matter if it goes in or not. You just rake it and go to the next hole. Um, that's not what golf is, you know, but um, it's uh, definitely, definitely you have them. If you don't, if you say you don't, you're lying. I just wanted to hear a PGA Tour winner say that. So everyone listening, this feels that because I think that people feel like they're not supposed to feel like that or they feel them too much. And it's like Tiger, you know, has always said that he still felt them. And so it's just good to hear someone that's actually won on the PGA Tour say it. So that way, when all the listeners are in their first club championship or in their first skins game and they feel a little nervous, it's OK. It's like that's absolutely part of it, um, I guess, then to kind of. Um, build on that what what are some ways that you build that confidence on the first tee um, is it just expectation management or is there you know a certain routine that you had just to be like hey this is part of it like how would you recommend people kind of calm themselves down you know I think uh, great question um, I don't have an exact answer but as you related as you just brought up a lot of people their first skins game their first club championship and if I go to cl a club championship let's let's go with that example and the reason I watch so many people fail in club championships, you watch a four handicap that, that for now two days he can't break 80. It's because they have those nerves, they have those feelings that they don't get when they play the other couple days a week with their buddies and they're playing a $5 NASA and it doesn't matter if they, if they miss the putt, make the putt, they lose 20, they win 20, it's not really a big deal. So when people ask me that, I say that the only way that you can start to get more comfortable and start to excel in those situations is you have to put yourself in those situations more often. And the way I tell people to do that, well, if you're really comfortable playing a $5 Nassau with your buddies, let's maybe bump it up to a 15 or a $20 Nassau where now you don't want to lose the 45 or the $60. It's not, it's, it, it, there's, there's much more on the line because now it means something to you. And it's like I brought up, you know, the three footer, that's where these guys struggle, man. They're so used to raking the three and four footers that now in the club championship, I watch them, they stand over it for three times longer than they normally do. And then half the time you see a stroke that they normally don't make because they feel it in their fingers and their hands and in their body. And they say, well, how do I get past that? And the only way to get past that is to put yourself in that position more often. And it doesn't have to be money and it doesn't have to be a substantial amount of money. It could be whatever, push-ups, whatever you want to make it. But it has to be something that is meaningful to you that you don't want to lose because that's how you get those feelings over the three and the four footers or that T-ball on nine that normally you just stand up and pipe down the middle. And now all of a sudden you're noticing the bunker on the left and the water on the right. And then you a shot that you've never hit it's not because you lost your golf swing it's not because you forgot how to play golf it's because you've never been in those positions and that's what made the really elite players on the tour tiger and, and dustin and kepka those guys continually put themselves in those positions so they get really comfortable and that's like if you look at tiger in his prime he he thrived in those moments because he was there every time and it wasn't those guys did fold and they laid down for him because they had never been in that atmosphere and with those crowds and the people yelling it was like when you know i can go back to riviera rounds playing with mickelson and and uh, ernie ells on a sunday and it was like i mean i played great i was in a zone ended up losing in a playoff but I hadn't experienced that. The ball's going further. All of a sudden, I'm seeing things that I didn't see in the previous rounds and troubles that starts to lurk in. So the only way that you can really start to get better at it and practice it, like we practice our three-footers, we practice hitting the golf ball, you need to practice being in that situation, and you have to play for something that is meaningful enough that you, that you care. Because if you're not doing that and you don't care about losing the 20 bucks, then you're never going to have those feelings that you need, you know?